Why do I have to walk across these? Shouldn't it just be kind of like a, like a flash of light? Instead of like walking across these? Seems like a strain on the software, in my opinion. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instinct. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. Skipping on that. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the sheath. Brought us standing around, looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. Dude, if that gun would've went off and, like, shot her. No, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. Wow. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got her. Let's keep looking. She's freaking out because you pointed a gun at her, you night. fucking maniac. Holy shit. Okay, so, um, he had a fucked up childhood. Um, let's see here. Here we go. And then hop. Uh. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> You thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so it's kind of like know, what we went through. They died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect it. I wanted to see that one though. That one looked action packed, like Michael Bay. I wanted to see that one. Now we gotta walk through this dumb memory. Ooh, go look at this memory. It's blurry and far away. Eh. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but. Uh, Dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. Ah, so he's from California. So, uh, okay. I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Man, he's gonna like kill a family. I think they insinuated that his family died. So I mean that's kinda of fucked up. But uh You know, shit happens. You gotta make your money. It's cool. I understand. I'm not blaming you, Kellogg. I'm not blaming you. Mr. I'm not judging. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, 
You're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Damn. Ah. Death animation. Can I steal the gun? Nope. Hmm. I can take it. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Man. I want to kick it further. Ah, oh, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Man. I want I wanted to I want to see him shoot her. Like pew pew. Manual override <gasps> initiated. This is us. Where am I? Where am I? Suspended. There I am. All computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all just find it. Pod C6, down the hall near the end. The eggheads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated, degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never liked to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. I'm not sure how that's better. Oh, pulled out his gun. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. Good, good, good. That means uh, we could totally take the Institute. This, is the one. Here. this one here. Open it. Open it. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come here. Hey. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. Stop dancing, Hajib. I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Jeez. All right, we're good. I'm. Uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. Oh yeah. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Can I pull out my gun? I can't. 
But this is pretty cool. You can like access the little memories and stuff. I, I keep forgetting I can do that. So I should probably do that more. Uh, is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So John! Good news, I think. John! Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the... The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter. Stronger and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Big crisis this time. New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Yay! I don't know what that means, because he hasn't taken him back to me yet. What What are you doing to my kid? What? X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Oh, he's gonna teleport. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Holy shit. Bye. Eh, bye. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Ha! Huh. Pull out. Well, that's pretty neat. So is Sean a little kid then? Oh, there's a TV. Oh, okay. I get it. Like the TV because the TV was there. I get it. Oh, hi, girl. What are you doing? You stretching? Fucking weirdo. What are you doing? Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effect the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you <laughs> I was pretending I had uh, side effects. Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're <laughs> cognizant enough to joke, I think we can safely say that you're out of critical condition. Are you... Ready to talk about what happened in there? Well, uh, we got what we needed. 
The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes, their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? We, um, I don't know. Don't look at me, Doctor. This stuff is beyond me. Um, let me think. What about that memory involving Virgil, the rogue Institute scientist? If he were alive, we have a common enemy. He might help us. I don't know, man. I don't know how old that stuff is. It's got to be... Well, I mean, if... if He got killed by me shortly after they took Sean. He could have had enough time to kill that dude. So, I mean, I don't know. I like it. The memory said the Institute tracked him to the glowing sea, but that seems crazy. A madman would think twice about going there. Uh, okay. Well, I am a madman. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield, or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Well, I kind of don't have a choice. So, uh, I'll find a I'll way. I'll find a way to get through the rats. Don't worry. Good luck, and be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Yay! Valentine's my friend. Okay, well, I think that'll be, uh, that'll be it for this session right here. It should be, I think, in two, maybe three episodes, depending. Uh, but anyways, that was pretty crazy, huh? Got to do all the crazy stuff. Lots of dialogue. Lots of dialogue. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching some more Fallout 4. I can steal a stim pack. Anyways, I will see you guys later.